George Lewis reports on a workshop where the overly wired actually went to learn to get unplugged. Ariel Stallings says walking the dog while texting is typical for her. The marketing consultant, author, and blogger admits she's kind of an online junkie. I'm always thinking about getting my, my next hit of the Internet. Do you ever engage in dangerous behavior like texting while driving? <sighs> you can ask my husband about that. I do. She and her husband have four computers at home, all within easy reach. Sometimes I sort of feel like I've... I've outsourced parts of my brain to the web. Welcome, everybody. To Which led Ariel to sign up for this workshop where people worried that technology has taken over their lives. If there was less tech in my life, what would I want more of? Facilitators like Jay Kimball and Leif Hansen Here. conducted the session in an old Seattle dance studio. What's the name of the game? A low-tech setting for some high-tech issues. Who's struggling with balance? All, almost all of us. Four color. One of the exercises compile a list of things you'd want more of if there was less tech in your life. Interview everybody in the room that you can as a group and find out the answer to that question. What would you do if you weren't geeking out as much as you do? I'd what? find some beautiful woman in my life <laughs> to make her happy. Oh, perfect. Okay. People had a wide range of answers from spending more time outdoors to spending more time in the bedroom with their significant others. It's interesting. More sex. More sex. There were no quick cures. During a break, people were firing up their Blackberries and smartphones. So, Ariel, you're checking your messages in the middle of this uh, session? Well, I had tentative dinner plans with my husband, and then we were talking about Twitter, saying who updated their Twitter status, saying that they were here, and then I realized they probably should. But by the end of the session, Ariel decided to turn off all her tech every Wednesday night. Not easy for her. But I think I can do it, and I might even make a website about it. Ironically, spending more time online telling others how one night a week she's trying to pull the plug on her habit. For today, George Lewis, NBC News, Seattle.